Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and today I'm inside a 2023 Jayco Jayfeather Micro 171 BH. This is a cool little bunkhouse camper that weighs under 3,900 pounds dry from the factory. It's got a lot of neat features. I'm standing right now in the front of the vehicle by our entry door where we have our camper queen turned on its side and pushed into the front. This does have pass-through storage outside. It's covering that up. We'll take a look at that later. We've got great storage up above in the form of a nice big open shelf up here. And down below, they've incorporated a nifty solution for adding just, again, more storage. They've given us these totes that can actually act as a separate seat in here. So if you wanted to expand seating around the dining table, that's an option, while also storing extra odds and ends. They put in a TV over here to my side. This is a 32 inch flat screen. This connects, this Bluetooth capable, and this faces the bed as well as our dinette. The dinette has storage down beneath it in the form of open cabinetry. The tabletop is on a post setup, so it pops up drops down and the cushions can slide out over it to create a guest bed should we need it. Again, storage, storage, storage. They're trying to put into this as much as they can and they've done that up here by adding some extra glass front cabinetry. There's a giant exhaust fan above me and that's really great because it's going to help get most of that kitchen cooking smell out. And speaking of the kitchen, we have a pretty compact setup here, but it really gets the job done. They've given us a high point microwave up top. We've got a three burner stove with a glass top so that we can extend that counter space. They've covered up our sink as a single basin, but they've covered it up with this nice cutting board there. Again, just extending that countertop, giving us room to work a high rise faucet here for washing out those big pots and pans, and then storage, storage, storage. They've incorporated drawers down below, nice open cabinetry, and then even some more up above. Off to the side of the kitchen, we have our Furion 12 volt refrigerator. This thing cools down super fast and has lots of volume inside. It's got a nice big freezer up top so that we can keep things like ice cream for those big long days at the end of it where you just want a high calorie snack. Back here in the back, we have our bunks. There's two of them, they're fixed, and they've done something kind of cool here. We have windows, both top and bottom. I should rephrase that. The bottom one's actually a cargo door, and this whole bottom bunk lifts up and out of the way so that we can slide in larger items for our camping trip. I think that's kind of neat. They're also accessible from the inside via a cargo net that holds them back. For getting into that top bunk, they've installed this really cool hidden ladder. I think this is really neat. It kind of pops out and down with the flip of a switch. That's kind of a cool feature. I'm sure kids are really gonna love that. In the very, very back, we have our bathroom. Now keep in mind, I'm six foot three. So I already have a good few inches up above me in the ceiling, but our bathroom doesn't disappoint either. It's a decent sized shower with a nice little enclosure here that's got the plastic curtain. I'm in the skylight, but I've definitely got room to move around. They've incorporated things like storage around our sink. They've even got some nice little uh, clothes hangers slash robe and towel hangers up above the toilet, just giving us places to put things and actually practically use this bathroom. This particular camper is 30 amp service. We've got a single AC up on the roof, it's controlled right here by the knobs on it. But one of the things that I think is neat is that they've also incorporated a solar panel onto the roof and a 30 amp charge controller here. 
So all of our 12 volt systems can run off battery power. That's really cool in my opinion. At the very, very, very front, we have a cool little control panel here. It's gonna run all our lights. It's gonna give us our access to turning on our hot water heater. Speaking of that, we have a Furion water heater on here that is not the typical gas electric. This is an on-demand water heater, so it gives us the ability to dial in how hot we want our water, and it keeps it hot as soon as you get that thing on. I think that's really neat. Let's jump outside and check out some of the features there. Here on the outside of the 171BH, the features don't stop. This is a rugged little travel trailer. It's got a few things going on that are unlike other single axles on the market. Now, I'm not gonna go so far as to say that this thing is a true off-roader, but it's gonna be fine going up and down service, like forest service roads and such. Right here at the front, notice what we've got this guardrail that runs along the base of it. That's almost like a sacrificial piece. It's gonna knock off brushes and branch and things that are gonna potentially scuff up the sidewall. So that's kind of cool. Also, we have access to our pass-through storage here. It has magnetic catches, so it easily clips up into place. It's a great spot to store camp chairs and things like that. We've got solid entry stairs here with a nice big grab, grab handle. All of this is up under a big electric awning that almost runs the length of the camper. It runs out at the touch of a button. It's LED lit. We've even got Bluetooth speakers out here just for playing your tunes when you're hanging out on the patio. As I was saying earlier, this thing is great for doing some light off-road activity. So we're talking about forest service roads or trails into lesser developed campgrounds. It sits up high. It's got a lift kit. We've got AT tires from Goodyear. They've got a little bit of poke to them. So they've given us these nice metal wheel wells that stick out and cover them. Right here on the side, we also have a TV mount. What's Good about this is that the TV we saw inside is on the exact same mount. That means you can pick it up, bring it outside, hook it into place, and then plug it in here and have our cable out hooked to it as well. So this is a full entertainment area outside working for us in addition to having those speakers and the awning and all of that. We've also got a griddle thanks to the J-Port system. It's a two inch receiver that's just plugs in. This can be hooked directly into our LP on the front. Makes cooking outside pretty easy and it keeps those smells out here and not in the camper. At the very back at the top, notice that we are pre-wired for a backup cam from Furion. It's a pretty easy plug and play system that's aftermarket that you can add. There is a ladder back here. We'll come back to that in just a second and a nice high mounted spare tire so that it doesn't have any chance of dragging on the ground. As we come around to the side on the back, notice that we have that door by the bunk that we saw inside. If we open this up, we have a flip up bunk and it gives us all kinds of storage space. Right down beneath that, we have our tank pulls for dumping. And then again, we have shore power right off to the side. Now that ladder that we mentioned a little earlier on the back, the collapsible one, it hooks up right here and let's see why. The ladder brings us up to a fully walkable roof and we've got this awesome Thule rack system up here. This is multifunctional. I can think of a bunch of different ways to use it from cargo boxes to boats to bikes, which you have to be careful of for your overall height. But this can be super useful for going on adventurous trips. I think that's really cool. We can also see that awesome solar panel up here. Let's jump back down and continue around the camper. We've also got an outside shower here. 
right here on the sidewall. It's next to all of our water port connections. So city water in, we've got our tank fill. We've even got black tank flush on this camper, which is great for cleaning out those tanks after a long trip. We can see this is the backside of our Furion hot water heater. And we have access again to that pass-through storage from the other side. Also of note, just inside the pass-through, this comes equipped with a battery cutoff switch. So when you put it into storage, you can flip that key, pull it out, and you know that nothing is going to be draining down your battery. One thing I didn't talk about on the front is that this is equipped with the side markers that can be upgraded to the Furion side view cameras. So if you buy the whole package, in addition to the rear camera, we can have side view as well, which helps with going in down the road and switching lanes, as well as getting into a tight camp spot. Up at the very front, we have our front cap here, which is beautifully lit up with some nice blue LEDs, nice accent lights. They look great running down the road. We have a tank cover for our LP and the two 30 pound tanks that are there. And we've got a power tongue jack right up front here. This thing is super cool. I can see all sorts of weekend warrior families getting out, going climbing, going mountain biking, going boating, just using it for a variety of different activities. I think it's one that you should definitely see for yourself in person if you're on the market for something this small. Come on down to Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia, just off of I-75 between exits 216 and 218, or you can check it out online at southernrv.com. Until next time, folks, happy camping. Mm -hmm.